everyone after six months a stride finally has an update six months is a long time but it also feels like yesterday that i downloaded this game for the first time this game is in early access still in beta over on steam but you do have to purchase the beta it's 35 or something dollars in your own currency i think that's how steam works so i think it was like 30 australian dollars but 30 us dollars is technically more expensive 30 us dollars is about like 45 50 australian dollars so that's why i find it hard to kind of judge steam games because the currency is slightly different wherever you're from but i might just be understanding it wrong i when i originally saw that a stride got an update i was actually really excited but i have already seen a little bit on Instagram some comments on their announcement post of the update and now I'm a little bit unsure but I'm not gonna let that cloud my judgment I'm still gonna go in and I'm not gonna look the thing is I felt pretty disappointed when I first saw this game when it was released but it was released because they needed to for their government contracts which I get I don't even know how to okay oh yeah apparently we've got dressage a new world and a character as you can see we're not on our horse <sighs> okay let's just hi horsey you're really pretty okay I I don't even know what to start saying the first thing I notice is obviously the environment is different and i'm a little disappointed because it looks like the environment of every other horse game and i'm just a little disappointed because i thought that the environment that they were already working with maybe that one was an asset as well was already good with their horse model like they're going for realism and the previous build of the game was less realistic because it had a bit of bloom in it it was honestly a little bit more cartoony to me and i just feel like that was better because if you make a realistic horse game or a realistic game in general i feel like it has to be like red dead redemption level standard otherwise it looks kind of bad it looks kind of cheap oh i can see my character cool okay i don't remember the controls at all um speed up the other thing that you guys can probably notice is the lighting is horrible <laughs> The lighting is bad now. I don't know why they changed it. Like, we are just in darkness right now. It's very stark. That being said, the horses still look good. But this happened in the initial build as well. If you do hold W, it will start, like, going slow motion. And it will also go really, really fast. Like, speed up. Maybe it doesn't go as fast anymore. Before, it looked kind of funky. I mean, this is, this is still, like, a little bit fast. But, um yeah okay i don't want to go into the round pen because i'll probably crash w and shift will speed up shift Tra oh go go control yeah, oh my gosh what are the controls again oh shift not control okay my bad what is that building over there like it looks kind of creepy because it's just like in darkness okay where am i going is this the paddock which i can put jumps in potentially or is this the dressage paddock we'll try out dressage let's click e to start a dressage course i'm pressing e i'm inside my horse can we stop walking okay press e oh am i meant to walk over oh i meant to then walk into the paddock okay that makes more sense okay i'm walking oh we're meant to try uh try there we go oh no what is your leg doing or is that just the shadow i think it's just a glitching shadow i think they just need to like i think the lighting engine just needs to be adjusted a bit. Like, I think that's the only thing. But, like, yeah, the shadows are just so, like, stark. Are you kidding me? Oh. <laughs> oh. Or am I meant to follow that line now? Oh, I meant to follow the line. Okay, sorry. I thought it was just, like, weird shadows. My bad. My score is at a zero. Um, sometimes I feel like I'm the worst in these types of videos because I'm so confused. Do I go? Oh, no. I think I go around the circle and then down the line that would make more sense it's kind of weird to have a character now i don't think the character is bad oh there's no bridal there's still no bridal that look at that shine that that's a negative shine there is good shine in horse games that that that's nice lighting right there i think that the character animations they're honestly not the worst that i've seen are they kind of stiff i mean yeah but i also feel like so are a lot of the other horse games out there right now. Uh, sorry, I need to shift. 
There we go. Oh, we're going at a diagonal. Okay, I'm still getting used to the controls. I keep clicking control instead of S and shift to slow down. So this is dressage. I know that there is a way to do, I think it's a PR or something, but I'm not seeing anything in the controls. <laughs> okay, let's click W and then shift and we'll go up to a trot. I mean, the transition is kind of nice. <gasps> I finally got a score of one, you guys. Where do I go? Circle, we're circling again, okay. Does this have an ending? Or am I just like infinitely just gonna keep doing dressage? I think it has an ending. I do know that there's a lot more glitches in multiplayer. Can you guys see that line ahead of me, which is moving? Anyways, it's like loading in the shadows. <laughs> I think everyone expected more from a stride and I feel like that's why it's received more of a negative initial playthrough. Like even right now, I just feel bad because I said how the environment, I don't like the look of the environment. And the thing is that this is what the environment looks like in other horse games because horse games are mainly by indie developers. But I think that there is obviously a difference between indie horse games and games like Star Stable built with professional people with a team of like over 100 people 200 people wow i've got a score of two you guys i don't know if this has an ending look how weird my shadow looks with <laughs> it's so like skinny the horses still look good though like the horses are still the best part which i actually find quite funny because usually i really like the environment of different games and i feel like their horses could use a touch up so i really like the fact that we have why am i not trotting there we go now i'm cantering that's fine i needed to canter i kind of like that we have a good horse basis that's kind of fun i think i'm just gonna leave like i feel like this is going on forever i mean i'm sure it's just realistic like a dressage lesson isn't over in two minutes but like this turning is kind of fun the turning feels nice sometimes it feels a little stiff especially at the slower gates uh, I didn't want to slow down to walk. I wasn't holding shift. Why did you slow down to a walk? I don't understand. I'm leaving the arena. I'm out. I'm out. Bye. Bye, Felicia. Uh, we also have an indoor arena. Oh, yeah. This this is where the jumps are. I want to do the jumps. Slow down. Uh, they have changed the way that the striding and jumping system works. You can now see that, like, blue dots. And you have to, like, get the little blue dot in the green area i just like slayed that so good for the first time like i'm just so good at riding horses like what can i tell you um that one's like meh um i'm trying to like i feel like the jumping is that's bad striding there's a bit of a pause between uh i don't know how to slow down like there's the transition between like starting the jump ending the there's just like this weird pause i'm not doing very good at jumping um that's not fun how we just like didn't crash that's kind of a fun little thing. See, this is my my little dot is in the green. Surely, surely I'll be able to jump this. I actually don't hate this jumping system. I found it a bit easier than I thought I would. Um, I think I struggled a little bit with the previous jumping system, but I think it would be fun if you could turn this off. So if you wanted to challenge yourself without having such a bold indicator on the line, because I feel like it almost takes away that realism that people strive for in their horse game in like when they're looking for a game because they wanted to feel like riding a horse in real life maybe because they can't ride a horse in real life let's disconnect and uh let's go into the horse creator because i know this has been changed as well yeah where art we where art thou uh i literally just clicked out of the game can i change the location still settings no are they doing the thing where they're re rebuilding all of it? I think the other thing is, now, I think it's fun. They, on their Instagram, they update every uh, Friday. They show updates of what they've been working on for the week. And I think that's a good thing, but it also builds expectations for something that... But the horses are still, like, really nice. I think it's just, like, I don't know why they changed the environment. I thought the environment was kind of cute before. I must admit... I was actually having a bit of fun doing the show jumping, except for the fact that I'm really not good at controlling my horse. Look, we've got a different horsey now. Let's go back in, like, the inside is so dark though. Yeah, that's <laughs> totally fine. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of getting 
the hang of the jumping thing now. I Yeah, once again, I actually kind of like this system a bit. Maybe I didn't understand the other one because I think the other one was a lot more subtle. Um, I didn't really understand the other one. I think I was jumping, but it was like a fluke. I'd have to watch my own video again <laughs> to remember. The thing is, it's really hard because I struggle to put all of my thoughts together and often like when I was waiting for the game to load, I had like this whole spiel in my head that I was gonna say, but now I'm trying to think back on what points I wanted to make. I have been making videos on horse games that are in development, that are being going to be released for almost four years at this point. And I think that there's very little games I don't think we've had a stable horse game actually come out. In saying that, I do enjoy playing Ranch of Rivershine in my spare time and also Emerald Valley Ranch, Horse Tales. That one's also really like, but are they star stable level though? No. I think that people don't give star stable enough credit because they are a horse game that have figured something out and whether you like playing the game or not, like it's got millions of players. Like I and bias i enjoy playing the game i like the fact that the game makes sense as its style they figured out an environment style as well as a horse style which makes the horses look like horses and it suits together i think people are obsessed with realistic horse games and horses that look realistic <clears throat> red dead redemption 2 but i think there's limitations to that red dead redemption 2 takes a beast of a computer if you want it to be as realistic as possible red dead redemption 2 obviously is not a horse game by the way uh, it just has really nice horses in it but that's the type of like quality that i feel like people want People want Red Dead horses, but with more horse mechanics. But Red Dead Redemption 2 was made by Rockstar. Big boy company. I'm not sure we'll get that from indie horse games, especially in the near future because horse development takes a long time, especially because indie games usually require the crowdfunding. We start learning about these games really early on and I think people get really excited, myself included. I love playing new horse games. And I still have fun playing the horse games like in this video. I've had fun just like jumping, doing that little bit of dressage. I still had fun, but between the first update six months ago and now, I didn't touch a stride at all. <laughs> I never opened it. Is that because I don't have any friends? Maybe. I do feel like that the game feels less optimized now for some reason. It might just be like the lighting. Like I just feel like the lighting was a downgrade. Like the game just looked better in the first version. I don't know, maybe they're just working their stuff out. That's fine, work your stuff out. I don't know. I don't know, I feel like there was more that I wanted to say. I just feel like I'm being such a negative Nancy. I've said this before, but there is a lot of horse games in development right now and they're all striving to be the horse game in my opinion they're all striving to have striding systems <laughs> they're striving to have dressage show jumping all the aspects of horse riding in the real world in the game but if they're all doing that then there's only going to be one winner you know people are probably only going to play one of these games is it going to be the first one that's released is it going to be I don't, I don't know. Like I see things like Unbridled and Astride and I got a comment a few days ago when I released my Unbridled video and they said, what is the difference between Unbridled and Astride? And I get that. I completely get that, especially with the change of Astride's environment that we are seeing today. It is looking more like Unbridled, probably because a lot of people use assets. I do think that the astride horses, they do look different to the unbridled horses. Unbridled has features that astride hasn't talked about. Unbridled has talked about things like archery and little things like that. There is slight differences, but I do feel like there's a lot of horse games in development right now that are striving to do the same thing. And I think that a lot of people don't like Star Stable because it's not the game for them, which is fine. But Star Stable has strived to create a multiplayer environment with quite a few different things for you to do, like with friends, I suppose. Like, is there in-depth striding in Star Stable? There's not. Would that be cool to see? Yeah. But at the same time, that's not st something that Star Stable has strived for even since the beginning, even for the games beforehand. Star Stable is doing something different and they are the top of their the thing that they're striving for. 
So I have no doubt that there is going to be a horse game in the future that comes out with striding, which comes out with all the in-depth dressage features that you want. Honestly, really enjoying Tales of Rain Ravine. I love Tales of Rain Ravine. I'm waiting for more updates, obviously, from their Patreon and things like that. I think we're just impatient. I have no idea what I'm saying, and I feel like I say the same thing in every video. I was really excited to see this Astride update. I've had fun playing it. I think there's definitely some negatives. Apparently they changed the way the gallop works. I didn't even- I forgot to look at that. Well, that- why is- where are you going so fast? Why are you going so fast? Why are you going so fast? Ah! It still says I'm going at a canter. Did they change it back? Anyways, how do I slow down? I didn't click shift for me to slow down. Do I think that you should spend your money on a stride right now on Steam? I still don't think it's worth it. Unless you're someone who wants to invest in the future of a stride, whether you see the potential in this game, whether you have the money, because obviously they did it so that they can get funding, so that they can continue making the game and also for government contracts. I don't know what else to say. If you want to see me play some other horse games in development right now, we recently got a demo for a horse game called Bonded Spirits, and I played it. You can check it out here. I, is it still free on Steam? I downloaded it for free, but that might have just been for like a week or something. Um, and if you want to check out my first Astride video, then you can check out that video on the screen as well. So maybe you can see the comparisons if you haven't seen the comparisons for yourself between the first edition of this game and the second edition of this game. I love you all so much. I'm sorry for this. I feel like this video is horrible. I just feel like I don't know how to get my words straight right now. But I love you guys and I'll see you all later. Bye.